Happy Earth Day, everybody! I hope you're going to have a great Earth Day today. Earth Day is the day where we celebrate the Earth and all the amazing things that it has, from plants to mountains to animals to you. So it's a good day to celebrate. It's also a good day to remember all the things we could do to help our Earth. Things like recycling and reducing what we use and reducing waste. So today I thought it would be kind of fun if we could do a project, a science project, where we can help the Earth. So we're going to make our own recyclable garden today. So let's get to it. All right, my friends, we're going to make our recycled garden. So what I did is I got a bunch of stuff that was going to throw away, like an old egg carton like this and an old milk jug. Here's some scrap paper. Here's some punch cups from a party and some Easter grass, too. So we have all of our materials available. So if you have a milk jug, this is an excellent start for your garden. Now, please, when using scissors, ask your parents to do this for you. Because what we're going to have to do is cut our jug in half. Alright, we have our jug cut in half. So parents, make sure that there's no super pointy, sticky parts out as well. Because we don't want those to hurt anybody. So this is the base for our garden. Now we want to make our garden look cool. And I have a great idea. We're going to use some of these cups here to put plants in. But before we do that, we need to raise up our garden a little bit. So I'm going to take this egg carton and I'm just going to cut a little bit of a section off of it like this. And I'm going to put it down in the side of the egg carton or the milk jug, excuse me, just like this. All right. So that's going to put a base for our garden. Now I'm going to try to put two cups in our garden like this to put our plants in okay and the reason why i'm using cups and not just putting the soil in is once the roots grow i can just pull the cup out and plant it in the ground but for right now it's going to stay in there now this looks like a good start to our garden but it's missing something we want to make it look cool so a lot of us have this extra easter grass lining around from easter time so what we can do is shove some down inside of our garden just like this All right, now it looks like we got some grass in our garden. Pretty cool, huh? All right, just like this. Now I'm going to have to put some soil into my cups to make my plants grow. So I got this big bag of soil right here. And what I'm going to do is just fill up each one of these cups to the top with soil. Now I'm using organic soil here, so it's a little bit safer to touch for kids. If you want to go out and look for that parent, it's easy to find. Just like this. But as always, when we are done using soil, like good scientists, we will wash our hands. All right. Just like this. And then we'll push it down inside of our cups. You see that? We have a perfect base for our plants. All right, so we're going to push them down in here like this. Now, we're going to need to know what we're planting in our little garden today. So what we're going to do is make some planter markers for this. We'll put our soil to the side, just like this. Now, I've got some paper here. Got a little bit of water on it, but that's okay. We can use the other side. And we're just going to cut our paper straight across, just like this. All right. Then I'm going to cut my paper in half, just like this. Okay. I'm going to fold it once. I'm going to fold it twice. And then on the point right here, I'm going to use that as the base, and I'm going to cut a leaf shape. Now, parents, you can help out with this. It might be a little difficult to cut, but if you want to, you can get a marker and draw your leaf shape first. Leaf shape, excuse me. Then we're going to fold them out like this. All right. Kind of looks like a butterfly, right? Perfect. So if you want to make your garden marker with a butterfly, that's fine. But what I'm going to do is I am going to make mine into a flower like this. Get myself a little bit of glue. I'll put a dab right in the middle of this one. Just like this. And I'll stick mine in the middle to make a beautiful flower. Then I'm going to take one of my old popsicle sticks, put a little glue on this, just like this. 
And now I have a flower. Ta-da! Now we want to write on the stick what's going to be in our plant so that we know what we're planting. So let's do that right now. Since today we're planting bean sprouts, I can write that right across my flower or I can write it right here on the stick. So let's write it right across our flower. Bean sprouts. All right, now I can take my flower, might need a little extra glue, and I can stick it right here in the back of my soil cup. Ta-da! Now I have a flower already in my garden. I'm gonna do that again one more time. Now we know what we're planting in our recycled garden. Now let's go ahead and put our seeds in. Now this soil is pre-moistened, so what I can do is take a couple of my bean sprout seeds that look like this. See how tiny they are? And I'm gonna poke a couple down about a half inch into the soil. Just like that, perfect. All right, now I'm gonna get my basil seeds and these are really tiny. Let's put some in my hand. Can you guys see how those? those are so small? They're right there. I'm gonna poke my finger down into my plant and I'm gonna drop a few of them in. Just like this and cover them up. All right, now we have our garden already planted and ready to go using only recyclable materials. Pretty cool, right? Now I'm gonna to wanna to add a little tiny bit of water to the, each plant, and then I'm gonna go and set this in the sun. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check on my recycled garden and see how it's working in a couple of weeks. See if my plants have sprouted and if they've grown up. But this is a fun way to do something for Earth Day. How does this relate to Earth, you ask? Well, it's simple. Plants produce oxygen, and oxygen is what we breathe. We need oxygen to stay happy and healthy. So the more happy, healthy plants that we plant, the more happy, healthy oxygen we can breathe. Wasn't that a cool garden? And just to think we made it with stuff you already have around your house. The important thing to remember as we celebrate the Earth is what we can do to make sure that the Earth is around for a long time. Things like conserving water and not using so much things to produce trash and recycling what we have or upcycling it, making it into something different like we did with our garden. So the next time you're about to throw something away, stop and think, could I turn this into something cool? And if you can, do it and tell me about it. So until next time, my friends, science on.